What kind of energy you got over here, Kiki? Hi, how are you? What's the name, baby? I'm Kiki. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? <laughs> Don't you ever, ever leave with beside me? Uh, Kiki, how old are you? It's been seven years that that song's been haunting me. Is it seven <laughs> years now? Damn. You don't like it? It's here and you don't like it? I get it a lot. I, it a lot. I think that's just what it is. <laughs> okay. How old are you, Kiki? Hi, yeah. But I'm originally from Illinois. Illinois. How old are you, honey? I'm 29. 29. What do you do for a living? I am a realtor and a flight attendant. Okay. And a flight attendant. You have any children? I do not. No kids. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Gemini. Gemini. So Illinois, what part? Uh, Naperville. Is that where you consider home? Um, that's where I'm from. I was born and raised in the Chicagoland area. Where do you live, girl? Kiki, you Miami. Live. I live where? in Miami. Miami. Where? Miami. Okay, that's what I needed to know. Miami. All right. So Kiki, Miami, 29, Gemini, realtor, flight attendant. No kids. What kind of man are you looking for, baby? Um, I am looking for, as someone else has said, a provider because I don't, I also don't believe in this 50, 50 thing. So I do want someone who is, um, willing to accept me as a housewife and a, like a house mom. So that's what I'm looking for. Okay. We get right into it. So once you get married, you don't want to work anymore. Correct. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, my deal breakers. So I don't want anyone who smokes because I don't smoke. I also don't drink, but I don't care when people drink because everybody drinks, but I don't want anyone that smokes. Um, another deal breaker would be, um, if you're broke <laughs> because you can't take care of a family if you're broke. And I don't plan on providing for any man because that's not my, I, I do believe in the roles. So that's not my role. And, um, if you are, like if you can't take care of yourself like if you don't have a car or you don't have basically like basic living things like if you have to live with your parents or something i don't want that either okay 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 kiki said ha -ha. <laughs> you better get it together because <laughs> i am a wife and i am not working so let me ask you a question so obviously you want to have kids yes I'm you want to have kids. Okay. So do you feel like um, it's your responsibility to take care of the home? Like, I know, I know the home is more than cooking and cleaning, but what are some of the things that you feel as though you'll be, um, will be providing? I mean, obviously you'll be bearing children um, as, as a housewife. And I think this is important because men have said women ask for a provider, but then they don't want to, you know, reciprocate their role in getting a provider. Well, so for me, um, I believe that I will, like, as you said, take care of the house, take care of the kids, but that in itself is its own job. So um, I usually deal with men with children. I am trying to get away from that, but I have dealt with a lot of men with children. And um, it, it's so much that goes into it when it comes to like sports, just all these different activities that I have to run them back and forth with going to school, running them back and forth with doing hair and like taking boys to the barbershop to get their hair cut. It was just a lot that I didn't realize. Like, it's a lot. Like, you can't do that and then do your job and then be a girlfriend or wife to your person is too many hats while he's only expected to wear one, which is the provider, which is not fair. So... Also, you think that his role is easier? His role is working and taking care of the financial aspects and then taking care of us emotionally. But for me, it would be not only just taking, like, I don't feel like I should have to take care of the financials as well and then also take care of the house and the kids and you and everything else that has to do with our, um, like, making plans for us and everything like that. I don't feel like that should be fair. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. I, I definitely respect your desires. So could he have kids already? No, no, <laughs> we cannot have kids already. Cause you won't be a stepmom. I mean, I've done it. I mean, I've been in that position already. Like all of like 75% of the men that I've dealt with have had kids because most of them are older than me, but I 
just don't want to be in that position anymore. I do want to deep dive in one more question because the one thing you said is his only thing he has to do is provide. And that's why I said, do you think his job is easy? So um, how much money does this man have to make you think? Um, well, since I'm in Miami, um, it's not cheap here, but we don't necessarily have to stay in Miami. Like we can go on the outskirts of South Florida. So I'm going to say probably around 80,000. How many kids do you want to have? So at, that's correct like right now. Because I'm not expecting them to have kids. And if you can take care of yourself with 80, Right, but when you have kids, do you think a man could... You think 80000 I mean, maybe. So I, I thought the number would be higher because you're being clear that you're not working. Correct. Right. So um, do you feel as though 80000 How many? How many children do you want to have? Um, I want to have probably two and then adopt one. So three in total. So you, do you think $80,000 is enough to raise a family... So that's no, not the true answer. So just, how much money does he have to make? For the initial, just he and I, 80. But he has to have, like, a trajectory of moving up. Like, so, and so, exactly. That's why we're having this conversation. Because 80000 for what you desire. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, shout out to the people. Because it can be possible. Now, there are people who are living off of $80,000 out of a family of four. But my assumption is you want to live a certain way. And you want to live in Miami. And, I'm, and, and, you know, you mentioned sports and activities and all these things. So have you ever thought about how much money it would take for you to be a complete stay-at-home wife that this man has to make to provide for you and two children and an adopted child? Um, in South Florida, it'll probably it'll definitely be over a hundred thousand. But if we were no longer in South Florida or not in Miami, but like in like Homestead or something, it's a lot cheaper. It's I think for the way that you want to live in Florida, house included, because you got bedrooms. You want a house or you want an apartment? I want to. I would prefer a house, but I have I, you ever looked at the houses in like the I'm, market? How much do they go for? So. <laughs> That just depends on where you're trying to go because if you try to buy a house in Miami, it's gonna go from like six to six hundred thousand to a million. But if you try exactly. to exactly so this man, in order to provide the kind of life that you just described, has to make, I would say, bare minimum three hundred to four hundred thousand. Because you wanna you you don't wanna work at all. You want three children. I'm assuming you want your children to have opportunities and and, and you want to live in South Florida? You just told me the house costs six hundred thousand. So that mortgage, I don't know what it is off the top of my head. But this is not an eighty k man. That is for Miami. But oh, for so you, you'll you'll leave Miami. Yes, I'm willing to leave Miami. Miami is not for a family. I don't feel like it's for like a family. Okay. I feel like I know people. <laughs> okay. So eighty. Okay. So you are willing to relocate to a city with a man that he could comfortably provide for you and three children for a little bit over 100K. Correct. Okay, okay. She's willing to relocate. There are other, like you would go to Mississippi where it's very cheap. No, I'm not, I'm not leaving. I would, no, absolutely not. I'm not leaving um, Florida. Well then this is, girl, have you ever thought about this for real, for real? Yes. I mean, I it's fine, like, I mean, I think you, I, I think you should get the numbers right then, because no, if you want to have you uh, lived in Florida before, because Florida is a big state. It's not so just it's also Tampa, it's Orlando, it's a yeah, bunch. Aren't those all expensive? You just told me. What's no. The also, Miami. what's the house the uh, in Miami? The so what's the houses in Tampa and in Orlando? About three hundred thousand, three hundred, three fifty. Okay, okay. So you'll make it work for one hundred and fifty k. Okay. All right. Um, does he have to look a certain way? He can't be fat <laughs> or short. Let's do the Kendrick can. Okay. Okay. You do gotta buy. Ooh. <laughs> Not you made the dress. Cause it's a moo moo. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna let you <laughs> see my not, shape. Yeah, you know, I'm not so like he can't, that. he can't be short. How tall does he have to be? At least 5'10", at the absolute least. Uh -huh. What's the age range, Kiki? 
Um, twenty-eight to twenty to thirty-seven. Twenty-eight to thirty-seven. Okay. Um, when was your last relationship, baby girl? Um, my last official relationship was last. We broke up last year in July. Okay. You don't have to last year. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, about two and a half weeks ago. Okay, who's this guy? My ex. <laughs> who's your ex? The one that we broke up a year and a half. Does 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 he have all the requirements? Yes, but he also has four kids. So. Oh, okay, so you'll sleep with a man that has four kids. You just won't marry a man that has four. No, kids. I would have married him. I would have married him. You said you wouldn't marry a man with kids. No, he changed my he changed my aspect of dating men with children. I don't want to date men with children anymore. But you'll have sex with them? No. You just have sex with a man that has four kids? Yes, because that was my ex and we just ended. Okay, so what I'm saying is true. You will sleep with a man that has kids? No, not anymore, no. I'm not having I'm never seeing him again anymore. You just saw him two weeks ago. So for two weeks. That was like me moving all of my stuff out of the house and like saying like, okay, we're done. We're not talking anymore. So these, the rules you just gave me have been in place for two weeks. Um, well, he had all of the requirements and he didn't have all the requirements. He has four kids. I know that. <laughs> so that's not all the, so, so, so don't, I, so don't I, lie when you talk to me. That's not all the requirements. Cause he has no, four kids. Isn't that, I was you okay told me a harsh, no kids. I was okay with dating men with children until I was dating him. And then when me and him decided we are no longer going to deal with each other, I no longer want to deal with men with children. And that's why I said that this implemented two weeks ago, correct? Because the last time you saw him was two weeks ago, we had four kids. So the new requirements had to take place then, or if they didn't, you were making an exception for your own rules. It was officially put in place two weeks ago, correct? Okay, okay, fair enough. All right, why do you think you're single? Um, I think that I'm single because um, I'm big on like fact checking and I within the last two years, I've done a lot of self um, reflecting and self healing and um, fixing just like issues with how I manage my anger and everything. I wasn't like a, like a super anger, angry person or anything, but like, um, I would direct my anger irresponsibly. So I've worked on that. And so, um, I think that I'm single because of those past issues and, um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty great. <laughs> So that's the only flaw you have? Um, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, that was basically a big one. Oh, and I like to fact check things, so I don't take people's words for it. I kind of always go to Google to make sure I'm not, like, you know what I'm talking about. And some guys don't like that. <laughs> they want you to just, like, take their word for it. Also, um, a big issue was like me, I, before this previous relationship, I was more so like the guy in the relationship. Whereas like I was making more money than my, my partner. And I was the one that was like, oh, let's go out to dinner and I'm paying like, let's, or I'm buying you clothes or I'm doing like cute little stuff for you. And this is the guy with that, this is the guy that has four kids. Um, for him, no, he was definitely, I allowed him to be the man. You said the last relationship. He wasn't the last relationship? Prior to him. The relationship before him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Continue. Um, but yeah, no, that's, that's basically, it. I was the, I was the guy, I guess, in the relationship prior to him. And then, so with him, I allowed him to be the guy, but in the beginning, I was definitely more in, of a masculine energy. And so um, I had to fix that. And so I did. <laughs> okay. And then the guy that had the four kids, he was more of a, a provider. Correct. Got you. Does he have, are all his kids by the same woman? 
Um, two of his kids is by the same person, and then the other two are by two different women. So two women. He must got that demon penis. Um. Okay. <laughs> the sex got to be good. I feel like any man with that resume has good sex because I don't feel like women would tolerate it if it wasn't. I mean, at this, well, he was like twenty and twenty one when he when he had those kids and um in college and a kappa so <laughs> what does so, that mean um i mean kappas have like their own little reputation of i uh, mean i'm assuming he has to be attractive and all this this swag going on and things of that nature those why that's when women make exceptions for men generally like that um i mean yeah he's attractive he's attractive yeah. okay uh, but you're done with that, right? Yes. Okay, she's done with that. All right, what's the age range you would date, Kiki? Um, 20, 27 to uh, 37, or 28. Oh, you told me that. I apologize. 28 <laughs> to 37. Okay, so let's break it down. Kiki's in Miami, a Gemini, 29, realtor, flight attendant. She has no kids. Let's be clear. Kiki is a housewife, okay? If you are not a provider, do not reach out to her. She is willing to relocate. You guys can live off a family of four, which is your two biological kids and one adopted child, off around hundred dollars to $150,000. But it will be in Florida. It will be in an area that she is not working. Oh, no, Kiki is not working, okay? She's going to provide for the home. She's going to take the kids to school. She's going to provide for you as her husband. So get it together. Also, please come for her with no kids because she will not marry you if you have kids. Correct? Sounds great. <laughs> is, is there anything you want to add? Um, I don't think so. I mean, I'm a nice girl and, you know, I take care of myself. So, like, it's not like you're coming in and having to take care of me. Like, I, I'm... No. Well, he it, to, you made it clear like, that he's going to take care of you. I'm taking care of myself. So, it's not like you're coming to save me. But I, for the long picture, like, the bigger picture, I don't want to have to provide I want, if I want to, then I can, but I don't want to, it to be necessary for me to work. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's do it, boo. How can the guy reach out to you? Um, you can reach out to me on my Instagram. So it's I go by underscore Kiki. So it's really easy. I go by say, Kiki. Say it one more time, sweetheart. I go, G-O, by B-Y, underscore Kiki, K-E-K-E. -E. Okay, there you have it. All right, Boo, I wish you the best. Thank you. Have a great time.